Hey guys, how is it going? Uh, so after a long break, uh, so I'm back with another tutorial uh, on vegetation. Yeah. Okay. So um, so what we are going to do here is basically uh, creating a, an HDA. Uh, so HDA is uh, Houdini Digital Asset. Uh, so this is the pipeline that is used to create the whole process and I'll be using only uh, free software for the entire pipeline. Except exception is uh, this one uh, that is used for texturing. So only thing that is um, that is commercial or you can say uh, which is paid is the substance designer. Uh, so because because I am very comfortable using it, uh, you can you can use any uh, any tool uh, tools you want uh, to uh, to create this. A grass so we are actually going for a grass so you might ask where I got the inspiration from uh, it's all from this game over here uh, this is the ghost of Tsushima uh, they have uh, they have a beautiful dynamic grass system uh, so I'm not going into details uh, right now because uh, I'll be explaining about this in uh, in in part one uh, they, they, they had a uh, technical talk in in the uh, in in GDC about how they made the grass uh, on uh, on this beautiful game. Uh, this is really amazing stuff we got here. If you get a chance to play the game, please play the game. Uh, so this is beautiful. This is amazing. Uh, the way the grass moves and you know all the all the flowers are like moving in the wind and all the dynamic uh, stuff that is happening. Uh, it is so good. So I'm not trying to uh, get this exactly the same because it is uh, it it it. Uh, Needs a lot of research and a lot of technical uh, uh, know-how to, to do it. So I'm an artist. So I also do technical stuff, but not uh, so, not so uh, something that is so so deep. But we will try to achieve uh, something similar to this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Also for the uh, like for for Ghost of Tsushima game, you know, they use a specific uh, technique. To uh, to create their uh, create their grass, uh, the the textures are really simple. Uh, it is not complicated at all. Um, but our case, uh, we'll be following this pipeline. So what I'm planning to do is to use Houdini uh, Apprentice that anyone can can download and use, and, and it is free. You don't have to pay anything to use it. Um, it is completely free. Um, I will I will share uh, share the link uh, to their website uh, in the uh, details. Of this video uh, then I'll be using blender uh, for for modeling out uh, the the custom part of this this grass and finally we'll be rendering it in Unreal Engine uh, so the engine version I'm using is uh, 5.3 uh, just now they released an update for the PCG tools so I'll be using PCG tools to uh, to to spawn the grass uh, in the world so I won't be focusing uh, on uh, PCG, even though I'm using PCG to, to spawn the grass. It is just for spawning purpose, nothing much. Even, even uh, I might not have any, uh, any terrain materials uh, on, on the landscape. And, uh, and this is how the pipeline goes. Uh, first, we'll, uh, uh, we'll be making a texture. Uh, I won't be showing you the the uh, the uh, the whole process, but I will open up this substance graph and show you the process how it is done. Then once the texture is uh, uh, done, then we will make. Uh, I'll show you how I made a custom flower inside Blender. Then take these two into Houdini Apprentice. Uh, inside Houdini, uh, we will learn how to how to make the Houdini graph uh, to get. All the random uh, grass grass blades uh, because everything is done from scratch inside Houdini uh, then we will take uh, take that uh, apply some uh, vertex colors and then uh, export that to blender so the problem with Houdini apprentice is that it does not support FPX export so without XP FPX export it is impossible to bring uh, vertex colors into Unreal so I cannot do uh, like I cannot directly jump from Houdini to Unreal because of this uh, this reason. There should be something in between. Uh, so that's why I'm using Blender. So I'll be exporting an OBJ 
from Houdini, Houdini apprentice and import that OBJ into, uh, into Blender, uh, which uh, by default brings in all the color information from, uh, from Houdini. Um, so the vertex colors will be, uh, will be activated once you import into Blender. Then from Blender, I'll export an FPX that, that will be imported into Unreal. There's a little bit of um, a diversion here because rather than exporting directly from Houdini, we are we are importing that in Blender and then exporting to Unreal. So there is not much uh, not much modeling going on in Blender. It is it's used just for as an intermediary application between uh, Houdini and Unreal. Uh, so the uh, grass, the final grass look, looks like this. So this grass is um, this grass blades are entirely done in Houdini. Uh, grass, this flower, uh, including the stem, it was done in Blender. And uh, we we make random, uh, randomize it uh, inside Houdini uh, using the HDA uh, tool that, uh, that we will make, of course. Then we um, apply the vertex colors inside Houdini and bring that into Unreal uh, and just spawn it using this, uh, this PCG graph. So PCG graph is like like really simple. Uh, if you if you, if you look here, it's just nothing much. Just a sulfur sampler, and then it transform points, then um, the density filter and the static mesh spawner. That's all. That's all we have here. Then the moment is um, the the wind animation of the grass is is uh, is done through a shader. So it just um, plugs into the world position offset. Uh, I'll also uh, explain uh, how that is done. So it is just a um, shader that uses the vertex colors to uh, to run. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to create this shader, and uh, and that is pretty much it for the uh, like for the uh, uh, like for the first you know the the pipeline. Um, so inside inside Houdini, uh, how it looks is this is HDA that we'll be creating in the end. Uh, so this grass was as I was explaining earlier. It was done in um, Blender, like the uh, like this is a Blender file. So this grass is done inside of Blender. It's generally really simple uh, mesh, just a card, two cards like facing each, uh, like going perpendicular. Then then there is a cylinder, and and, and there's another uh, custom mesh uh, using all the t textures. Uh, uh, that is pretty much it from from Blender. Then we import this this into Houdini uh, using um, I mean I import this as an OBJ into into Houdini. Uh, so this if you look at this uh, grass uh, this is an HDA. So how this works is like you can just just right right click and just type uh, grass HDA. So when you drag this in, it'll like it'll create a new uh, new uh, Houdini digital asset. Which you can just customize whichever way you want. So this is the um, Houdini digital asset uh, that I just dragged in. Then, then, then we have actually choice of like of like you just want blades or you want blades and 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 flower or if you want just a flower, like stuff stuff like that. So I need to check this. Okay. So uh, when I have blades and flower, uh, what I can do is I can actually uh, change the number of blades. Then, then change, then change the spread. Uh, then uh, apply the texture to it. Then I have the minimum height and maximum height. So randomizing it. Then, uh, then uh, uh, once you once you start it from scratch, you may have to uh, adjust the UVs. So we have UV control. Then the, there's a bend amount. Then uh, then randomizing vertex colors. So if you want to see vertex colors, you have to change the settings to. Uh, turn off the textures and then turn on the geometry color. So this is where the vertex colors are applied. So when you look at this the, at, as random seed, seed, you can see that it's getting a randomized color. Then when, uh, uh, like once you finish everything, I can even change the number of flowers. Like flower, uh, if I uh, change the count to maybe five, you can see that it's like five flowers here. I'll go back to texture, turn off the geometry color. You can see that it is five different fl flowers. Then I can even change the size of the flower, make it small or big, you know. Then I can actually give it like random scale, uh, spawn radius. I can adjust. So like there are a lot of things you can do in 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 just one Houdini. Uh, I mean, one HDA. That's why we are making the HDA. 
So once you uh, once you uh, do this, then export uh, this uh, this as an OBJ. Uh, clicking this clicking this button like save to disk, and then only thing you need to do is you have to import this into uh, into into Blender. So uh, so I'll so I'll show you how it looks. So this is a Blender file with uh, with the exported mesh from Houdini. Uh, so it, it it already comes with the vertex colors. So only thing you need to do is to re-export this to Unreal uh, as an as an FBX. So that is the only thing uh, why we are using uh, Blender. Then once when everything is done, just just import that into Unreal, and and there you have it. Okay, uh, so let's uh, so let's go go ahead and start the uh, tutorial uh, videos. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. You can post any comments you want. If you like, if you have any questions, uh, please post in the comment uh, comment section. And let let's get started. Keep watching.